Hey guys, welcome back to the 10th video of the SciPy Tutorials for Beginners series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the SciPy Stats package to perform statistics calculations. So first, we just need to import SciPy. So from SciPy.stats, import the describe function. So first, we'll just do the describe function, which will give us a few details about our data set. So our data set is just a list of seven numbers 0 0.2 negative 1.91 and so on and to use the describe function we just need to type in describe and then put data as its first argument and we also print out description and then we'll run it and see what happens okay so when we print out a description we will get the describe result the describe result has a few parameters for example nobs which is equal to 7 uh, min max mean and so on so i have decided to format it a little better so the way to do this is to just convert your description into a dictionary and then take the items and use a for loop to iterate through the key value pairs and then we'll just print out the key value pairs in uh, in an f string so I'll just remove the description, run it again, and you can see that, so, so this, these are our parameters. This is what we have gotten. So NOBS is just the number of objects, which is seven. So we have seven numbers over here. Next is min max. So negative 1.91 is the lowest number, and 0 0.53 is the maximum number. So this is the minimum and maximum. Next is the mean. So the mean of our data set is minus 0 0.229, right? Uh, so that's just the average of the seven values. Next is the variance, which is 0 0.712. So it, the variance just shows us how spread out our data is. And you can get the standard deviation by just square rooting the variance. So next is the skewness and kurtosis. So what I'll do is I'll just show you an image to give you a brief idea of what skewness and kurtosis is. So skewness shows us the symmetry of our data set. So if it's positive, then there are like large outlier values on the right side. And if it's negative, then there's a outlier value on the left side of your peak. So here we have negative 1.22. That means we are looking at the second graph. Okay, so we have a large outlier on the left side. And if you just look at the data set for a while, you can see that uh, negative 1.91 is actually quite negative. So if you graph it out, you'll see that it's like quite different from the other values. The largest value is just 0 0.53, but this is like almost negative 2 and most of the values are on the positive side so are like close to 0 and to 0 0.5 uh, and this, since this negative 1.91 it will like resemble the graph at the bottom for skewness for kurtosis it just shows us how how closely it matches a normal curve so when it's around 0 uh, that's around like a normal distribution if it's more than zero then it's a little squished that means it's taller th than usual and if it's less than zero then it's like flattened so in this case you can see our kurtosis is really low so that means it's quite squished it's like flattened all right so that's skewness and kurtosis and also you this is just a sing one dimensional list but you can actually use it for a two dimensional list so i'll just create something simple okay and let's run it and you can see that now we get number of objects is equal to two the minimum is 1 comma 2 and then 3 comma 4 and then the mean right mean is by column 
so the mean of 1 and 3 is 2 and the mean of 2 and 4 is 3 and then we also get variance skewness and kurtosis so you can apply it to two dimensional lists you can also apply it to uh, like basically any dimension of uh, an array okay so now let's learn about how to perform calculations with a normal distribution in scipy.stats so first we need to import norm from scipy.stats and we will also import numpy so now we need to create a normal distribution okay so we'll create a distribution and we'll then say norm and then the first argument is the mean okay so mean and the second argument is the standard deviation all right it's not the this is not variance this is actually standard deviation all right so mean and standard deviation so here we're creating creating a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation two all right and we have also created a numpy array so now what we'll do is we'll calculate the cumulative distribution value so what that is is distribution.cdf array so what it'll do is it'll calculate the cdf of each value so negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 3 okay in fact i'll uh remove minus 2 so we can focus on minus 1 0 and 1 okay so what the cdf is if we go to this image so this is a normal curve and here we're calculating the cdf of minus 1 so the cdf is basically the area under the graph on the left side of the value okay so the value is negative one and we're trying to calculate the area over here so if i run the code you can see that my cumulative distribution for negative one is 0 0.309 right so it's around there and if we go to our graph so basically this area in gray is equal to 0 0.309 all right if you go back to our array so the next value is zero and if you look at the curve you can see that zero is right in the middle okay so imagine a line being drawn at zero and then we're trying to find the area on the left side so since the line on zero cuts the curve in half so the total area under the graph is one all right so if we cut it in half then the area on the left side will be 0 0.5 and this is for one two and three so you can see that the value is increasing because uh, if we create a line at one then the area on the left side will be higher and then it'll increase for two and then three okay so you're just calculating the cdf values for negative 1 0 1 2 and 3 all right so next is ppf so ppf is basically the reverse of cumulative distribution so you you can see that for 0 we get 0 0.5 for cdf so if you put 0 0.5 over here we will get a ppf of 0 in fact i can try copy pasting this and from this because we're getting this value from negative one so for our ppf value we should hopefully get negative one so here it's around negative one it's a little off but uh, yeah it's basically negative one okay so that's the ppf finally is the sample distribution so what this is it basically takes our normal distribution it takes a normal distribution of mean zero and standard deviation two and it samples a few values from it it basically tries to get values from that distribution okay so you can use distribution dot rvs and then you have to say the size so here i just want five values so from my sample distribution i have five values and from the sample distribution the mean should be around zero again our size is very low five is a very low number so 
it won't be the mean won't be exactly zero but if you want to just from the distribution you want to sample a few values you can use the rvs function and you can again increase the size to maybe 30 and you can see that we have gotten a lot of values in our list all right so yeah that's it for calculating for normal distribution in scipy.stats okay so now let's learn how to use scipy to perform a t-test so a t-test is used to check if the mean of a sampling distribution is significantly different from a population mean okay so let's learn how to apply this let's say that we have a manufacturer which claims that the volume of a drink that they make is 225 milliliters so we want to find out if this is true right so here is a list volumes and a few values inside so for example the first drink is 220.1 milliliters the second one is 220.5 milliliters and uh, so on right so this is just a random sample of a few drinks okay so let's let's just apply the t-test on this we want to make sure if the mean of this is significantly different from 225 so it looks like they will be lower than 225 milliliters so what we need to do is we need to conduct a t-test right so to perform a t-test we will just make a variable called result and then stats so we have to import stats from here and then stats dot t-test one sample okay underscore then one SAMP for one sample because we only have uh, one set of values then we'll just put in that set of values and we also put our hypothesis so this is the value right this is the manufacturer's claim 225 milliliters and since we're checking if the volumes of the drinks that we have is less than 225 milliliters we have to put in another argument called alternative is equal to lesser okay it's because we're checking if the mean of these volumes is lesser than 225 milliliters all right so let's just uh, run it and see what we get okay so it looks like you have to write in less instead of lesser okay so here's our t-test result so our t statistic is negative 6.24999 so on uh, but i think the more important thing is the p value so the p value is really low so 0 0.0003888 and so on right so this is actually a very low p value so the level of significance for this test let's take it as 0 0.05 So since the p-value is much lower than 0 0.05, we can uh, reject the hypothesis that the mean volume of the drink is equal to 225 milliliters. And instead, we know that the volume of the drinks is actually significantly less than 225 milliliters. So the manufacturer is actually lying. Uh, so yeah, we can find out if the mean of the volume is significantly less than what the manufacturer is claiming okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like this video and if you like this video then be sh make sure that you sub like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video